excited to share with you today's recipe because that's exactly what we're talking about. And not only that, it's freezer friendly. I love a freezer friendly recipe because the, you know, I'm all about meal prepping. And so if I can make a big batch of something and then, and then I put it in the freezer and we can just heat it up quite quickly, that's my favorite thing. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm so glad you're here with me. I'm Marley with the site Namely Marley. And I think we're just gonna have a really good time today. So let's get started. We are gonna be making breakfast burritos and they're so easy to make once you get the ingredients prepped. I've got a lot of things prepped, but I am gonna make one thing for you today, which is some uh, sausage, but let's just talk a little bit about what goes into it. So I've made some hash browns. I just used frozen hash browns and just cooked them up nice and crispy. I have two types of egg ingredients. I've got some just egg that I cooked up in a scrambled form and this is tofu scramble. So that works really well. Then you also want to have cheese, and this is an idea of what you could do with like vegan mozzarella, and this is some vegan cheddar. And then you want a plant-based protein. So right here, I've got a couple of different options. This one is, uh, these, these are both tofurkey products. This is their plant-based deli slices that's uh, smoked ham, and I just cut it up into little pieces. It's got a little smoky, kind of slightly bacony flavor. And then this is just one of their sausage ingredients. If you're looking to make this super simple, this is a great way to go. I really highly recommend it. But I also did find at the store, we oftentimes will use uh, Gimme Lean. I don't know if you've seen that product. No, Gimme Lean is not the one we use. Was, is that yes. what it is? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think I was thinking of the other one. That is just a Jimmy Dean, right? <laughs> That's the one we don't use. Yes. <laughs> Gimme lean, exactly. And uh, we find that at health food stores. Sometimes our local grocery store carries it, but not today. But I did see this product, which is Impossible Sausage. I've kind of cracked it open already because, you know, to make it easier. Um, all you need is to preheat your skillet, and we're just going to put that in and cook it right now. I've never even made this before, so talk about be I'm being brave today, Sean. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that in here. I really like using a homemade sausage ingredient like this one because the flavor is usually pretty amazing. Now this one was very frozen and and so what I did is I put it in I put it in a um, a bowl with some hot water. And what I'll do is I'll kind of slowly start separating. Okay. I will slowly start separating the part that's kind of already cooking from the part that's kind of still frozen in the center. And that's how I like to cook it. Let me grab this just to hold it steady. So I'll kind of flip it, it's cooking on this side. This smells amazing. I have only used the Gimme Lean product. I'm curious if any of you have used that before. I'd love to hear from you what your favorite plant-based sausage is. There's so many options these days that I just love. Um, this one just adds, I can just smell it. It just smells amazing. So if you like a nice kind of sausage flavor to your breakfast burritos, this is a great product to do. So you can see how I'm just kind of I let it cook on one side and then I shave it off, shave off the part that's cooking. And this part in the center is still kind of frozen. And I've just got it set to medium heat, so it's just cooking nice and slowly. I break it into small pieces because I don't want to. I like to have, um, this is just a, for all of these products, whatever you're using, cut them into the even size pieces so that um, you like the whole bite to be the same. Does that make sense? You want, if you get the bite on the end or the bite on the other end, it's gonna have the same kind of ingredients there. So like you layer out the potatoes and the tofu and then the sausage. So that's why I like to have these sausage pieces kind of cooked into smaller chunks. I don't want great big chunks of it. I hope that makes sense. So that's pretty good. I think what we've got here is enough to work with. I think you can see the kind of the process that I would use to cook the rest of this. Um, it looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it does. Sean says it looks like meat. Pretty tasty. 
it's it's actually perfect. It's going to have that nice sausagey flavor and add more protein to this recipe as well. So we got to be excited about that. So I'm going to set this aside and let it kind of cook a little bit more, and we can go on to making assembling actually some some burritos. So like I say, I think if you had a Saturday afternoon and you wanted to make up some tofu scramble or just make the just egg because it's pretty easy to make the just egg. You just pour it out of the carton into a, a pan that's that's already heat it up a little bit, add a little bit of olive oil, cook that up. That just took me probably five minutes to make that. Same thing with the hash brown since I did frozen, just put it in a skillet. I like to make sure the oil is nice and hot and put it in a skillet. You can use like I did, which is the shredded potatoes, but you can also use the potato chunks. Those work really well. And just let that sit. You don't want to mess with it too much. Let the pan do the work and cook those potatoes till they're nice and crispy. So I like to start with the um, breakfast burritos with the hash brown layer. And I also want to take a moment to talk about the tortillas I'm using. These are mission, mission tortillas that are carb balanced and these have 10 grams of protein for each tortilla so that's pretty good so let's put what i do is like a little line of hash browns i kind of scoot it a little bit to one side and i like to add a little bit of cheese on the top and let's start with we'll do some tofu scramble here now you can see I was a little bit willy nilly on that, but I'm just gonna use my hands to kind of proportion it. See how I've got the whole row is just even that way. I don't know if I'm making sense. Am I making sense? Okay. So we can add just a couple of pieces of this. Um, I think it has kind of a bacony flavor. This is the um, tofurkey, smoky ham. And then let's add a little bit of the impossible sausage since it's over here cooking. I'm just gonna sprinkle that across there. It's gonna add some delicious flavor. That is perfect, delicious. Now stay tuned, because I put cheese on it, it's right there. <laughs> it's Sean's double checking me. Um, so then comes the rolling part, and I'm gonna make another one, and the next one I'm gonna show you one of my favorite add-ins, but let's do this one first. So I like to come in from the side, and then I get my thumbs underneath here like this. And I kind of use my fingers to pinch this and roll that up. And then I just kind of push everything in. And then as I'm rolling, I push this in just a little bit. I don't know, is that how you do it too, honey? Okay. So then the next thing I like to do is while that's sitting, I put that one, I'm gonna show you, seam side down and maybe give it a little press. So now I'll move on to the next one, and this one's going to sit here, and what will happen is that seam will just, it'll basically stick to the rest of the tortilla. So it'll be perfect. That's what we like. Okay, so now let's do this one, and I want to show you my favorite add-in that will just transform this into something really amazing. So we'll start with, it'll look pretty much the same. I'm going to add um, the potatoes now. You could add some green onions to this. That would be delicious. Um, we're going to use the just egg on this one. I am a big believer in any vegetables you want to add. I could see some sauteed mushrooms. Um, you could also, I just have a, a post that I just published on the site on sauteed sweet potatoes, and I think that would be delicious in this. I like to add a lot of of the egg product because I think it gives it a more protein and just tastes delicious the next day. You can see I just put a tiny bit of 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 the cheese on there because I don't want to go over the top. And here I'm going to do this is the tofurkey sausage. Look at that! Doesn't that look delicious? I just can't get over how good this looks. Now, my favorite add-in is vegan gravy. And if you remember, I have a video where I talked about how to make vegan gravy. It's pretty easy to make. And this one, I just actually used the same pan that I cooked the just egg in. So you can actually see little bits of just egg in here too. So I think that adds just some, I don't know, flair to it, I guess. 
So I'm just gonna spread a dollop of that on here. Look at that, doesn't that look amazing? I think it kind of gives it a biscuits and gravy <laughs> feel to it or taste to it. Okay, so I'm gonna just wrap up the sides and I'm gonna use my fingers to tuck that in. And I'm just gonna kind of roll that in. Now I'm gonna use my fingers to tuck that in and then we'll just give it a nice little roll and push it down. Now there's one other thing I wanted to show you, which is how I freeze these because I find that I wrap these in wax paper. I like wax paper, it's not plastic, it's environmentally friendly, and um, and you can reheat it in wax paper too. So I wrap them individually in waxed paper, just like so. Kind of similar to how we make the burrito in the first place. I just tuck in the sides and then roll it. Now, you can use a piece of tape if you want to hold that together. And I've got this plastic bag that I put them in. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah, so you can just secure it with this little piece of tape. That just keeps it nice and neat. And then I put it in a freezer bag. I like the freezer bag, it fits very nicely in our fridge. I'm using a brand new freezer bag, but I did want to point out to you, we wash our freezer bags, but I thought for, for company, since you're a guest in our kitchen today, I would use a clean, fresh one. But we oftentimes will wash our, our freezer bags and reuse them over and over again. So we have uh, the same freezer bags we've been using for years, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just a, just a little tip for being environmentally friendly. And um, anyway, that would go in the freezer. And, and then of course, you can just add a piece of tape to this and get a marker and write down exactly what this is and the date and then put it in your freezer. So that way, in a couple of months, when you go to the freezer and you say, what is this? <laughs> you won't have to like open it up and figure out what it is. I've done, I may be speaking from experience. Hmm. <laughs> I may have done that several times, but I learned this trick of putting the piece of tape on. Sean likes to suggest this one that you just flip this one side over like that. And that makes it very easy to remove. So there you just get your marker out and write down breakfast burritos and then the date and then put this in the freezer. So that's basically how you make breakfast burritos. They're pretty easy to make. They're very easy to freeze. Then when you're ready to eat them, I'm just going to show you here. You just put them in. I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't bother everybody. Then you just put it in the microwave and heat it up uh, for a couple of minutes. And, and what I love is, see, we put the cheese in without melting it. And so what happens is, is when you melt, when you put it in the microwave, the cheese melts. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way just so you can get a good shot of, I'm going to cut this burrito in half. And look at that. Now this one I used mozzarella, the mozzarella cheese. So you can't see it as much, but it is in there. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm. I'll show you both sides. Yeah, that one's got a little bit more sausage in it. So this is a perfect treat. So I'm going to do the taste test, but I have to do it for you the way I would do it, which is to put some sriracha on it. <laughs> I am a big fan of lots of hot sauce. I don't know if you are too, but that's me being modest. I'm just putting a modest amount on here. I could probably add a little bit more, but here we go. Mmm. That is so good. Mm. I could eat this all day. It's cheesy. It's I love the meatiness of the of the turkey and or I'm sorry the sausage in there. The potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. The sriracha. <laughs> it's delicious. It's perfect. I highly recommend if you're looking for something that you can just fix really easy for breakfast in the morning. This is the way to go. Saturday afternoon, spend a few minutes putting these ingredients together, make up a, a bunch of burritos, put them in the freezer, and then you get to enjoy plant-based protein for breakfast every day. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. I have had a great time. Thanks for joining me. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more recipes coming your way every week.